Newsroom Africa is in possession of a letter addressed to the Speaker of Parliament seeking clarity on the quote-unquote reserve pool names that should be considered for the SABC board. Now, uh, bearing the signature of President Saul Ramaphosa, the letter is asking for 15 names out of the 12 which uh, uh, will be appointed to the board of the public broadcaster. However, the understanding here is that that list of 12 names has already been submitted to the president in December of last year. So what exactly is at play here? Let's speak now to the People's Media Consortium spokesperson, Hassin Logat. Mr. Logat, thank you very much for your time. Equally. It's good to have you in studio. Let's start with uh, the impact of a five-month-long delay in appointing the SABC board. What has been the impact, if any? I mean, all of us grew up with the SABC as just being there, like the air. You know, it is part of our DNA. Yeah. It covers all languages. So it's very important to our democracy, especially after apartheid. Yeah. Because... If you look at its own lofty principles, and that's why I wanted to quote it from here, the first one of the broadcasting access to promote, to contribute to democracy, development of society, gender equality, nation building, provision of education, and strengthening the spiritual and moral fiber of our society. Mm -hmm. This is on the SABC's board's own website, the SABC's website. But when you go to their board, they, they've got nothing to say there. They've got, meet our executive team. Mm -hmm. They do not even say what you and I are talking about, that the parliament has recommended 12 people plus additional two. That is not even taking a side. It's just in the public interest. They don't have it. They have an image of uh, the executive team. Now, they are undermining the fiduciary relationship that the board has with its, with its shareholders and us, the yeah. citizens. It is so critical. But I fear that th this is meddling. It has a political intent with one eye on the elections because already one of the people on the board, Patiswa Mohopene, has been accused of making the ANC lose. No one makes the party lose. Mm. You know, I think if, if the party wants to look why it didn't do well, they should look at why there was load shedding three days consecutively before the elections. Yeah. Right? Why the roads have potholes, why things don't work, why half the population are hungry. These are the things that win or lose elections. We're going to speak about Ms. Makopeni in a moment, Mr. Logat. I'd like for you to paint a picture of the dangers of the absence of a board because in an institution, ideally you should have the board that oversees what management does. Yes. In this instance, there hasn't been a board for five months, as we say. Who's to say? What has that executive been up to in terms of uh, their work? We're not accusing them of anything, but why is it important that a board exists so that the executive is held accountable? Uh, the relationship between the board and the staff is to make sure that the staff do their work, mm -hmm. that the funding is in a proper way. This is why the fiduciary relationship talks about trust, right? They are the guardians to make sure that the SABC is on course. But in this period, as you say, it leaves open a whole range of speculation that the EFF and others have said this is an attempt to make sure that the SABC pulls for the ANC when they come in. Because if they come in late, they take six months to get orientated, then the elections are is upon us. And it's clearly very wrong. Because the SABC should be promoting the discussions out there a rigorous debate that we have and the board that sat there before did a noble job but not a perfect one because it's on their, their watch that Patiswa got fired they accepted it so let, let's talk about what you fear is political meddling that is at play the president was handed these names in December he's now written to parliament in March of uh, 2023, he's writing to Parliament to seek clarity on the list of names that he should uh, pick from. What about the list that was handed to him in December? The, the idea is now that the names are 15, yeah. 
the aim is to weed out those they don't want. So the, the president. So this is the attempt. It's to delay, but this is a calculated delay, a calculated delay. But in this process, the in this space, this interregnum, what you find is that the public broadcaster stands the risk of becoming a state broadcaster running up to the elections and that is not good for our democracy for a south and african who doesn't understand that i'm sorry to cut in yeah for a south african who doesn't understand the difference between a public broadcaster versus a state broadcaster the state broadcaster is basically the one like saddam hussein or mugabe just speaking to people mm -hmm. the way they want this is not the democracy that we want and the president knows full well as one of the architects of our constitution mm -hmm. His aim is not to find loopholes and stratagems to avoid the enhancement of democracy. This is what people are seeing. Every time he does this, he tarnishes his own legacy, which was great. You know. Now let's go to Pati Somakopeni. Mm. The list of 12 names, yeah. the understanding is that that was given to the president yeah. in December. He now writes to parliament saying, I thought you said you were going to give me a list of 15 names. Yeah. out of which to choose from and make a final decision. And then the name Patisoma Kopeni comes out this past Sunday and in the papers the minister, the past minister Jabini, uh, mm. is accused of having picked out a specific name that of Patisoma Kopeni to say why is she included? Yeah, I, I mean, Talk us through that. I, I'm, I'm disturbed because they're personalizing the role of the integrity of the journalists. You know, I was there last night for another show and I, I tell you, workers like you who produce the media have a certain integrity to interrogate every person coming before it for the, to determine what is that they're saying, the veracity thereof. I think they didn't like the integrity of the person. But as I said elsewhere, that the president is not here, he's compelled by law to choose the chairperson and the deputy, but not to try and pick and choose. It's not a love affair mm. where he wants to have a sweetheart relationship. He himself, has, in his cabinet, has got some people that he doesn't agree with fully because he understands the, 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 the severity and the integrity of the process, that you cannot only talk to yes men or yes women. Mm. You need some dissent so that you can be on your toes. And if Patwisa is on that board, it is good for our democracy because the others will be nodding their heads yeah. and she may ask a question differently. That's how we all have it. If we only agree with each other, we undermine the democracy. Look at the values that, that the SABC put itself. It says our values are respect, trust, integrity and quality. Mm. They're losing in all of those because for five months, we don't know, a former board member, Markovic, says that uh, uh, the SEBC were on its last legs financially and they were thinking that by this time that the, it will have enough money by March but uh, by this time they thought there will be a board which would grab the issue and he's saying financially there are problems so how can these guys, the executive, look at the finances ensure that they are impartial you know and of course there's a court case coming on mm. right and the SEBC is also trying to uh, work out its migration from analog to digital, mm. right? Who's signing off on it? What is the SABC's position? Did, did she, there are so many balls in the air. Mm. Did the minister, who's now also gone, not want the SABC to have a position so that they can have this? Because the SABC were asking really hard questions about them losing audiences. Yeah. As a people, we all have short memories, Mr. Logat. Patis Omakopeni was accused by the head of the ANC campaigns at the time, who now is the ANC Secretary General, Figile, mm. Figile Mbalula, mm. that she may as well have decided that the SAPC must be one of the opposition parties. What was the gripe that the ANC, or rather the SAPC programs in the run-up to the local government elections were broadcasting things in such a way that they made the ANC municipalities look bad. Is that a fair, was that a fair thing for him to say against an SABC executive? 
I think that uh, any journalist worth their salt have to choose whether they're going the Saudi route or the route that you are trying to interrogate now. Mm. You can't have sunshine journalism. You can't just... The people are hungry, right? And our former presidents themselves have said, Beck and others, when the people rise, you know, that there'll be nothing for all of us here. So this two-nation theory that there are some rich and some poor is what Mbeki and others were trying to grapple with. And what better than to have a conversation about it? Why are these protests there? Why are people seeking political office at municipal level when there's no tax base? Is it a route to loot? You know, These are the conversations we can have. And you hear it on radio. Somehow it's in the TV put the images there that people, they have a special dispensation for TV, you know. But it's true, the conversations are all over. We have a vibrant democracy. I also said in another interview, the fact that I can talk to you and no one's waiting there to arrest me is incredible. This democracy is strong. Yeah. But the president must not allow it to sink further. His legacy depends on this. Well, the very president, you say, he has come in on a ticket of... <laughs> Political morality, if you like, anti-corruption, and you name it. If Patiso Makopeni does not make it to this board, what judgment call or how should we view President Ramaphosa's administration moving forward? Uh, I think they would be operating as a state broadcaster. It puts pressure on all of us, the other independent groups that emerge after our democracy, to keep a more vigilant eye on the SABC because it uh, discusses politics, basic issues in all the languages, mm. far more than your budget would allow. So it's very important to our democracy. So all of us need to keep, as you are doing now, right? And I'm thrilled that you could have a discussion about the board because you understand its role in our democracy. So we need to be more vigilant, but it will be tarnishing it, and I think it will de facto become a state broadcaster. We we'll have to judge what it is, but clearly, if we can have Nkosa Zana Zuma, I mean, in her, his cabinet, they can have Patiswa on the SEBC board. Very interesting comments indeed, Hasin Logat. Thank you very much for your time.